Hello everyone and welcome to this API Dog tutorial. API Dog is an all-in-one collaborative API development platform covering every step of your API development process, starting with API design, debugging, testing, documentation, and mock. In today's tutorial, we will be focusing on automated API testing, which will be useful for QA engineers and your API testing teams. During today's tutorial, we will be covering unit testing, integration testing, data-driven testing, performance testing, and regression testing. We will also showcase how you can connect them to your CICD pipeline and how you can schedule a task monitoring by deploying a general runner. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we start, we need to have few endpoints listed in our project. But don't worry, if you don't have them, you can just simply import them from this option by selecting preferred data source of your choice and importing them here in API doc. Okay, so let me get back to my API projects and here to start the units testing which focuses on a single API, I can just simply select an API from this all these API endpoints listed down here and here I can select this get request which will be querying a pet ID which is an integer by simply clicking on run and here let me include the value as one and send this API request to get a response. Now, to automate the testing process, let me add an assertion from this post processes operation. Here, I can add the name, like I want to check the pet ID. And here, I can select the target objects as well. And in the JSON pass expression, let me see it's under ID. So if I type ID, it will give me a preview. So let me press OK to add that and i want to see if the id exists so this way visually after i add an assertion i can just simply send this request again and as you can see uh, the assertion results is check that bit id is available so this way i can add a simple test from this press processes operation here at api doc now once you are happy with that you can just save it as an endpoint case from this option let me select a success endpoint case and save it under this api endpoint and as you can see here i have saved different endpoint cases here under this api now if you want to test all of them at once you can head over to our test tab and from here you can create a new test scenario for example this uh, demo test scenario and here in the add step option i can select the endpoint cases and select all of these endpoint cases at once or by just simply selecting the one i want to run and then add them in my test steps then simply by selecting an environment from this option i can batch run them together at once so this is how i can save multiple test cases and then batch run them together at once here at api doc now let me head over to the integration testing so integration testing is usually to test the overall functionality when multiple api can work together for me let's create a sample test scenario here and now let me add the steps from the endpoint specification for example here let's say a user first log into the system and then maybe he wanna search the path by the status this time if the pets are available for sale and then he want to place an order for all the available pets at once so let me add these three endpoints in order and then if i simply click on one then i will enter in this test orchestration mode now here for this first request if i send this one this user id would be required in this later step to search the pets that are available so there's two ways you can connect this to your previous step data or pass the data between two of the apis the first step will be using a post processor which is an extract variable option so if you select an extract variable for example this is a user id and in the variable scope you can share, uh, select where you wanted to save this one for example if i wanted to save it as an environment variable then you can also select the extract source and in the extract scope you can also select customize this one for example in the json path expression i can select i want this id so it's under data.id so here you can see a preview let me press ok to add that and then save this request 
after that i can just go back to my next request and then here in this id section i can look for that uh, variable which is here this environment variable and insert it in my request point now if i send save this one and let's say for example just uh, simply for the demo purposes if i run this test cases then you can see that the first it will query a data and then here in this test you can see the id is 47 which is been used here in this later steps so this is one way to pass data between API request but we have a better way to do it as well for example if I uh, delete this one and if I go back and I can also delete this post processors now for example here as you can see if we send this request we'll get an ID here but in the later step you can just simply connect it to the previous step data by using this magic wand option so if you select this retrieve free day pre step data and select this first request and in this track scope i am selecting this body and here in the json path expression again i can uh, customize this is under data.id and as you can see here is a preview let me press ok and insert it in my request body so this is how i can also connect uh, to my previous step data and now for example for more complex test scenario i can also use these complex functions like grouping if for each loop for loop or wait functionalities and if i want to make this process a little bit faster then i can also include the steps from other test scenarios or reference other test scenarios here as well so for this test so let me select this for each loop option and then let me drag this post request inside this for each loop now in this for each loop i can also array this to be loop to my previous step data so here i can select this uh, find path by status here and then just simply insert it this as an array to be loop now in this post request i need to have a request body to place an order for the pets and here i can also connect it to the pre step data and insert it in my request body for example from this insert dynamic value option i can select this pre to pre step data and as you can see this is the loop edge element option and it will be the current loop element and then i want to select the partial data uh, which is the id and then i can insert it in my request body so after that let me save this request and now once this test orchestration process is complete i can simply select environment of my choice and then run this test so it will run uh, this test and categorize it between if it's the test is passed or failed as you can see all of our tests passed and here the id that we received is uh, 55 which has been used here in this later steps and here there is the information for two of the pets are available so it's placed an order for both of them so this is how you can automate your testing process and run your integration testing here at api doc now if i go back to my testing steps process yeah here you can also perform data driven testing for example if i head over to this test data step here i can import a data set i can just simply add one manually as well but if needed i can just import using a json or csv file for example if i select the csv file from this option and i can select pet id csv that i preset in my desktop so this is a simple data set containing five of the pet id that i saved beforehand so let me set it up as a demo data set and save this one and now if i go back to my test steps from this option i can select this demo data set and run this test cases by selecting each of the data set listed down here or if needed i can cancel one and then run this test for each of the data sets separate at once so this is how you can also perform data defense testing here at API Doc. So as you can see, it selected the dataset and run this test against that dataset to run your data defense testing here at API Doc. You can also run a performance test for this testing scenario. So if I go to performance testing from this option, then here I can select testing environment and then i can select the virtual users up to 100 users but as it's run on my local computer let me select like a simple 50 users virtual users then i can also select a testing duration let me just fix it to five and then i can select the ramp up duration as one minute by selecting this i can also run this performance test with a single click 
and it will run a performance test by indicating the total request sent uh, or the request per second and also you can see this will give you a error response time and error so there is no test are failing right now so it gives me zero percent error and also you can see much more details uh, listed down here as well so this is how you can also simply run your performance test by selecting all these options and now if i want i can also run regression testing for my select 10 uh, test cases for example you can just uh, put them in one folder and if you select that folder then you can batch run them together by selecting all of them at once or uh, let's say if you want to run all of your test cases you can uh, directly head over to the root folder and here you can select all of your test cases or simply the one that you like to select and then batch run them together by selecting an environment for example if i can select a local mock and then run these test cases at once just with a single click so it will run all of these test cases at once and categorize them if it's passed or failed you can click on them to see in more details and you can click on each of them to see the validated response results you can debug it from here or you can also you go back you can share it with your team members or export it as an html file to share and solve these issues together at once so not only that the development teams can also connect it to their ci cd pipeline for example if i go back to the this sample test cases that we're working on you can also see there is a ci cd option here where you have the option to connect to your preferred ci cd providers from all these options that are available by selecting an api doc cli and not only that you can also set up a notification like a setup notification condition and as a target you can select all these channels from these options to set up a notification which will be sent to you upon run completing running this test cases Okay, as we are talking about setting up a notification, you can also set up a scheduled task from this scheduled task option. So if you come here, you can see there how you can deploy a general runner by simply clicking here and then it will take you to the, our documentation here. So here is the details about how you can uh, deploy your own general runner. So you can deploy your own general runner and set up a schedule task option from this schedule task section. So here what you can do is like you can create a new task from this option and just simply add the testing scenario that you want to add from this option. Then uh, configure a few details like the environment. If you want to run with the test data you can also select that here and then in the run mode you can select the run cycle like if you want to run it hourly basis or weekly basis or selecting the time that you want to run this test cases on and also uh, your deployed runner will be showcased here so you can select the runner that you want to run this test on and if needed you can also set up a notification here and in the notification target i already showcased you can set up this all this channel to get the notification from so this way you can also set up a scheduled task monitoring to run your test cases in a scheduled manner and see if it's run properly and uh, if there is any cases that's missing or fail then you get a notification to solve this issue as soon as possible so these are the core features of testing with api doc for more details you can head over to our help documentation from this option just by simply typing api doc.com help and you can find all of the help and support from all of these options listed down here so feel free to try it out our product if you have any feedback please feel free to reach out via all of these communities listed above here thank you for watching this tutorial